Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And I really hope the Amber Heard Johnny Depp situation is over. Me too. I'm getting tired of it. Uh, we have not been covering the blow, the blow by blow uh, of this. Uh, no pun intended. You know, but yeah, no, I never, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, apparently Amber Heard has settled the defamation case. Johnny Depp, she settled for a million dollars. She owed significantly more than that. And I'm guessing it's because she's too broke to pay it yeah, all. Yeah, or people were saying, was what, the insurance wouldn't cover anymore? Because, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, she is not worth as much as Johnny Depp, obviously. Uh, but here's the thing, you know, regardless of, of all of this, like, you know, I think at this point, Johnny Depp can move forward and that he is employable once again, because it was a unanimous decision. Uh, and as far as Amber Heard's concerned, well, the entire world saw her for what she actually was. She'll probably still get work, I'm sure. Her truth. She keeps saying about her truth, but not the truth. Her truth. Oh, I thought you said turd truth. Well, no, her truth. But anyway, <laughs> before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, uh, almost 283,000 yeah. subs. Hit the subscribe button, like us, share us, say nice things to us, give us affirmation. No, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. Uh, a lot of people don't. So yeah, Hollywood Reporter has it. This is a mainstream media article. Amber Heard settles defamation fight with Johnny Depp. The actress cites the ongoing harassment around the Virginia yes. case and legal costs is the reason behind her decision. No, I think she's... There's a lot of irony in her statement, yeah. which I have the whole statement on my story I did. Uh, Depp's attorneys state, we are pleased to formally close the door on this painful chapter. So we'll, we'll start with your, your article then. So basically after it was all said and done in Virginia, she was, he was awarded by the time it was said and done 10.35 million. She yeah. was awarded 2 million, I guess. And mostly for what stuff his lawyer said. Yeah. So even if you take that away, it, like she still owed him like eight, almost eight and a half million dollars. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now she's settling for a million that I guess Johnny Depp's going to donate to charity. But her statement, her statement is hilarious. So if you go down, I have her actual statement. Um, it's a long statement. His oh is like God. very short. Hers is very long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me get in the... Okay. After a great deal of deliberation, I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. Are you taking pictures? It's important for me to say that I never chose this. You kind of did. I defended my truth. Not the truth. My truth. And in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, right. The vilification I have faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. No, you got vilified because you lied, and it was okay when Johnny Depp got vilified and fired from movies for you know years, but when it comes back on you, it's just because you're trying to use actual victims to say that it's, it's a reaffirming bad behavior towards victims. Yes. But there wasn't proof that you were a victim. That's the, that's the issue. Um, so they said, now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago on terms I can agree to. Wait, when you tried to leave me, when you put you, that whole article out and said all the stuff you said. and uh, <laughs> Like, and, I just wanted to leave it all behind me, except for this, this hit piece on the way out I'll to boost my career. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so in, uh, I have, in terms I can agree to, which I get to pay 1 million as opposed to 8.5. That's probably a good deal. I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. Yeah, sure. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward. Well, go ahead if you want to get sued again. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. Move to Canada. But, but <laughs> the, the, she's mad because they couldn't control the narrative. Yes. They kept yes. trying to control yes. the narrative. Yes. They kept having these media outlets who were all, you know, with her PR person. Yes. Going out there and gaslighting people saying, you know, you did not see the evidence you just saw because we said that's not true. Yep. <laughs> when I stood before a judge in the UK, I was vindicated by a robust, impartial and fair system. So they agreed with me. So they're the, um, the impartial and fair. So I'm going to shit on America too while I'm at it. Move She's good at shitting on things. Move to Canada. Um, where I was protected from having to give my worst moments of my testimony in front of the world's media and where the court found that I was subjected to domestic and sexual violence. In the, and also, wasn't the judge like 
allegedly friends with friends some... or something. There's yeah. a connection. There was a connection there. Again, we don't should have been recused to begin with, but you know, whatever. Um, in the U.S., however, I exa exhausted almost all my resources. Some broke in advance of and during the trial in which I was subjected to a courtroom in which abundant direct evidence that corroborated my testimony was excluded and which popular power mat popularity power mattered more than reason and due process. I mean, like when the makeup company flat out showed the, liar. The, showed the palette that she was claiming that was a palette she fixed herself with, um, that they didn't even have that out when she's claiming she used it. Yeah. You mean like that? Yeah. You mean she, like people being able to see the evidence and make their own decisions? Yeah. Yeah. We can't have that. We can't no, have that. No. no. And that's why Amber Heard stands are harassing, still harassing YouTubers now because yeah. they blame that. They blame them for her losing. They had nothing to no. do with it. They nothing. had nothing to do with it. This is this was the, the the jury looking at the evidence, the world looking at the evidence, and a lot of people that were actually on her side initially switched because they looked at the evidence for themselves without the influence of of YouTubers or TikTokers, and were like, "Oh my god!" Her media PR person. Yeah, it was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Yeah. And then, and they even showed that how the photographs that they were claiming were doctored. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the interim, I was exposed to a type of humiliation that I simply cannot relive. Even if my U.S. appeal is successful, the best outcome would be a retrial where a new jury would have to consider the evidence again. And I simply cannot go through that for a third time because it's expensive. And you won't win. Oh, my gosh. This goes on win. and on. I have been caged in an arduous and expensive legal process, which has shown itself unable to protect me and my right to freedom of speech. You have a right to free speech, not lies. What they say, you have a right to the freedom of speech, not you can't the, not the consequences. Yeah. I can't afford a risk to risk an impossible bill. This is all about money. One that is not just financial, but also psychological, physical, and emotional. Women shouldn't have to face abuse or bankruptcy for speaking her truth. Again, her truth, not the truth. But unfortunately, it is not uncommon. Blah, blah, blah. I'm settling this case and choosing freedom and dedicating my time to the work of after heal from my divorce. Never mentions her kid. No. I will not be threatened, disheartened, dissuaded by what happened from speaking the truth. Oh, that time is that truth, not not your truth? Is that speaking my truth? Isn't that what you're supposed to say? Yeah, you're supposed to speak your your truth. Just whatever whatever feels right. Whatever. Go on and blah, you know, okay, fine, good, great, great. You settled, let's move on from this yeah, shit. Yeah, no, and I agree. I don't have to worry I, I about think, it anymore. I think everybody needs to move on from this shit. Until next week when she's pissed because she's not getting jobs she should, she should be getting and it's all Johnny Depp's fault and then she does something else stupid. Oh, I know what's going to happen. This is going to this is gonna go down like uh, Gamergate where you had personalities involved with Gamergate that kept saying they wanted Gamergate to go away, but they keep bringing Gamergate up even current year, even eight years later because it gives them a career boost. It'll be... Eight years from now, I haven't worked as much as I could have, and it's all Johnny Depp's fault. But it was okay when it was her fault that he got fired from things, yes, from yes. stuff she said. Yes, and he was vilified and he suffered abuse. That's fine, because you know our court system is is shit over here, but the one in the UK is dandy because it sided with her. Yep. Um, so yeah, Johnny Depp is gonna donate his million dollars to charity. Is and that, he probably will, unlike Amber Heard, who said she was going to donate money and then apparently didn't. Yep. So let's see here. Um, this is what his legal team said. We are pleased to formally close the door on this painful chapter for Mr. Depp, who made clear throughout this process that his priority was about bringing the truth to light. Um, so the attorneys on Monday, the jury's unanimous decision, again, jury's unanimous decision, and the resulting judgment in Mr. Depp's favor against Ms. Heard remain fully in place. The payment of a million dollars, which Mr. Depp is pledging and will donate to charity, reinforces Ms. Heard's acknowledgement of the conclusion of the legal system's rigorous pursuit for justice. That's not what she said, but... No, that's not, that's not her truth. That's not her truth. Um, again, she's getting... I mean, she's winning in a way because she was supposed to pay a lot more money than that. Yes, she was supposed to pay $50 million because he was like, that's basically what I was out because I couldn't work for how many years. And at the time, he was one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. And it's like, this is what I'm out. This is what you cost me in the last you know, four or five years. He lost Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, he lost, uh, potentially lost Pirate 6 and other, he got dropped from other projects mm -hmm. too. And uh, nobody would, would touch him with a 10-foot pole. And it was really kind of disgusting. He had people turn on him that knew him for years 
And they were just like, well, because she said so. We don't want to be on the wrong side of it. A lot of people like Winona Ryder and stuff that stuck by him the whole time and said they didn't believe it. You know, people who actually knew him or friends with him were like, no, this doesn't make sense. There were other women he dated that uh, came to his defense. I mean, a lot of people came to his defense. How many times is your ex going to come to your defense? Usually not, especially if it was a messy, I mean, I don't know the details of it, but like if it was a messy breakup, you'd be like, but the flip side of that is like, I'm not going to let them run him down. If I know the truth, like this guy never hit me. He was never verbally abusive. Plus to me. They're using their name to assault right. somebody, you know, I don't know. The whole thing's just whack, but hopefully now it'll finally end. We can finally move on. Cause I think everybody's sick and sick to death of talking about it. Yeah, some people are. Some people are going to be upset that there's not more, I'm sure. But, um, you know, here's here's the thing. Like, is the media going to chill out now that this is over and done with? Because for the longest time, anytime Johnny Depp was mentioned in any capacity in any article ever, disgrace star Johnny Depp who beat his wife, according to her, you know, mm-hmm. this disgraceful man. And, you know, you know, he should be ashamed. He's been a pariah, a Hollywood pariah and all this garbage. Now they're all like, hey, hey, they might do a, a Pirate 6 with Johnny Depp after all. Isn't that well, cool? Well, I've been hearing this too. And then the people are like, that's not true. He's, he's not coming back. We don't know for sure, but I keep hearing that. And I know Bruckheimer was trying to get him back before the, the even went to the Virginia trial. Yeah. And, you know, here's all well, Tim Burton said he would he would work with him again. But the thing about this is that, you know, Bruckheimer has a lot more pull now because of Top Gun Maverick doing mm-hmm. so well. You know, he can pretty much name his terms. If he mm-hmm. says, hey, I want to do another uh, Johnny Depp Pirates movie, get the man as many alpacas as he wants. And Depp, having been out of work for as many years as he has been, probably needs the money. Well, he could just do it to be like a big middle finger, too, to like, I'll, you know, fine, I'm back, bitches, you know. I don't know. I just know that Jerry Buck- Bruckheimer has been trying to work on Disney about bringing him back even before he won. You know, the weird thing about the, the Disney situation with Pirates is that that was up in the air, right? But they never got rid of his animatronic from mm-hmm. the parks. They never got rid of Captain Jack merchandise with his likeness. Right, they had no problem selling stuff. They put him in the video games afterwards and all right, kinds of right. stuff. They had no problem cashing in. Compare that, though, to how Lucasfilm handled the situation with uh, Gina Carano, where they basically just scrubbed her from right, existence. Right, she didn't use pronouns and, yeah, and, and yeah. made a comment that Susan Sarandon pretty much made the same comment, but it's yes. okay when she does it. Yeah, unless she makes you know comments to Ezra Miller, then then we got problems. <laughs> yes. Then we got problems. All right, we got to wrap this yes. up. Hopefully, hopefully this is over and done with. We'll see what happens. Oh, I bet it's not. Uh, I'm sure it's not. I don't not. think she'll stay down long. It'll, it'll... Yeah, eight years from now, she'll still be talking about how her life was destroyed by Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. And, all right, uh, we're going to wrap it up for yep. now. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.